Linda Harvey Major breeds and shows Labradors, and I was expecting her to have a few of them, but I was completely overcome by just how many. They were curious about the filming taking place, but Brian, my intrepid cameraman, carried on working courageously. Then they started to chew the radio microphone I'd attached to Linda, which I had to quickly rescue. Linda knew all their names and their personalities. She'd bred them all from puppies. They're her best friends and live with her as family pets. Finally, they calmed down and she was able to tell me about this breed of big, friendly family dog that she's devoted her life to. Okay, Labrador Retrievers were founded off the coast of Newfoundland in Canada. Uh, basically, they were used for fishing, where they go out with the fishing boats and then they would jump into the sea and pull the nets with the fish in back to the boats. Um, now they've become a lot more domesticated since they've been over, over here and other, other countries. So they're a very good all-round dog. Uh, they're a lovely family pet. They're used as working dogs. They're also used for guide dogs for the blind, for hearing dogs, um, dogs with, uh, for disabled, for disabled people, people with epilepsy, uh, and all sorts of things like that. Well, they weren't really bred as gun dogs originally, but they have a natural ability to retrieve, which then progress to picking up birds, uh, going out on the shoots, and they, they love to retrieve, even if it's just a ball, uh, a toy, a dummy, a stick, anything they just like to retrieve and they like to pick up things and bring them back to you. So they have a natural retrieving ability. As a family pet, Labradors are very easy to train. Um, they're very biddable, they just want to please you. So they make lovely family pets. They're quite happy to just be a couch potato or to go out and run and exercise and do whatever you want. So they're a very easy dog to live with. Um, their, their main problem is in the summer when they lose their coat. Because they've got a double coat, we do get an awful lot of, of coat hair coming out in the summer. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, they're very good with children. I mean, they're a very placid, easy-going nature dog. At the end of the day, um, any dog will, will turn if it's annoyed enough or if it's teased enough by a child. So children have to know their limits as to what they can do with the dog. But they have a very placid temperament and they're very easy. So they make good family pets. I think every child should be brought up with a dog. Um, it teaches them a sense of responsibility, of care, looking after the dog, of um, what it can do and what it can't do. So it, it learns that it has to look after something. It's also a great comfort to a lot of children, especially children with special needs. Um, they do say that when you actually stroke the dog, uh, it actually re releases endorphins in the person. Um, to give them a good sense of well-being, of, of feeling calmer and much better. So it can be a lot of beneficial to, to children that are hyperactive or AHD, anything like that. Well, when you're upset, what is the first thing you do? You go and cuddle the dog, you know? So yes, it does. And it's very therapeutic to just stroke the dog and the dog enjoys it too. Labradors have a lot of hereditary problems. You have to be very careful when you buy a puppy. You should always make sure that one, you can see the mother. Um, two, that the puppy looks healthy, it's bright-eyed, it's got a good coat, and it's a happy puppy. Um, they have problems with hip dysplasia and also elbow dysplasia, um, cataracts of the eyes and progressive retinal atrophy. And you should make sure when you're buying a puppy that the parents of these dogs have all been properly tested for these and that they are clear from all these hereditary prob problems. Uh, when I was um, seven my mother took me to see a Walt Disney film called Old Yeller which is about a Labrador of somewhat dubious pedigree and he gets up to all sorts of things and then um, in the end he dies but he leaves behind um, a litter of puppies and there is a little puppy dog in there that's just like him and does all those things. And from that day on, I always wanted a Labrador, and I had my first Labrador for my first wedding anniversary. Lastly, I asked Linda if she could imagine having lived without her dogs. No, never. My life wouldn't exist without my dogs. The dogs are my life. 